Hello everyone and welcome to AGE CAD's webinar Switch from Manual to Automatic Selection. Before I start, I want to make sure that everyone can hear me and see my screen, so please raise your hands. You can do that in the GoToWebinar dialog on the right side of your monitor. Also, I want to say a big thank you to those of you who attended. I'm a little nervous since this is my first webinar, but I promise I will try to do my best. Thank you for raising your hands as I understand you can hear me and see my screen. If you will have any questions regarding Smart Select, you can write them down in the GoToWebinar dialog under questions and in the end of the webinar I will try to answer them. Now I can introduce myself. My name is Yeva and I am an architect and a BIM application engineer at AGA CAD. Our mission is building BIM together, which means that we align our clients' needs and develop solutions for continuous BIM acceleration. Our promise to client is reducing BIM stress. We help to eliminate tasks that do not create value. So switch from manual selection of desired Revit elements to automatic selection using our newest and totally free Revit extension Smart Select. Smart Select for Revit are space elements by category, family or type, and network elements for any pipe or duct plus custom filter. In this webinar, you learn how to select Revit families in any group or space by category, family or type, select pipe or duct network from chosen duct or pipe, and select elements by predefined filter configuration. After the quick demonstration, I will show you how to download and install this tool. So please stay till the end and after 15 minutes you will have it and be able to use it. Smart Select allows architects, structural engineers and MEP engineers to select elements automatically by user configured parameters in just a few simple clicks. This application can select elements in any room or space by category, family, or one of family types. For example, I will select elements by category in this room. I will click on select elements in room or space. And now I have to select any element of the category which I want to be selected in this room. As you can see, the tool selected furniture elements. I can check my selection in the type selector. If I want to select elements by family in a room, I will click on select elements in room or space by family. And now I will select any element which belongs to the family I want to be selected. And now as you can see the tool selected only one family, this one. Also, if you want to select an element by type, you can do so. You need to click on Select Elements in Room or Space by Type, and now you have to click on any element which belongs to the family type you want to be selected in this room. As you can see, the tool now selected only one type, this one. Also, MEP engineers can use this extension to select pipe or duct network downstream from users chosen duct or pipe. If you want to select the whole downstream with all elements that belongs to it, you need to click on select pipe duct network downstream. Now I have to choose a duct from which the network downstream will be selected. For example, I will choose this one. And as you can see, the tool selected the whole downstream from my chosen duct. I can check what elements have been selected in the type selector. As you can see, the tool selected air terminals, duct fittings, and ducts. However, if I want to select only ducts and duct fittings without the equipment, without the air terminals, I can do that. I need to click on select pipe that network downstream without equipment and once again choose the duct 
from which the network downstream will be selected. For example, now I will choose this one. And as you can see, the tool selected the downstream from my chosen duct. Only this time, the downstream was selected without the equipment. I can check my selection in the type selector. Duct fittings and duct were selected, no equipment. If I want to select only the network's equipment, I need to click on select pipe that network downstream equipment. Now, once again, I have to choose a duct from which the network equipment will be selected. This time I will choose this one. You can probably not see right now, but the tool just selected downstream equipment. I can check my selection in the type selector. Seven air terminals have been selected. No ducts or duct fittings. Also, users have a possibility to select elements by predefined filter configuration. In the Filter Elements dialog, we can configure the filter according to our needs and choose elements. I will show you a quick demonstration about the filter. Now, in the right side of the dialog, I can choose the criterions by which the tool will group my elements. For example, I want to select all doors that open to the room named bedroom in second, third and fourth floors. In order to do so, I will configure my filter by level, category and room name. After I selected these, I need to click on Refresh Filter Data. Now the tool is grouping my elements to a tree. Now we'll select doors from second level that open to the bedroom. Doors, bedroom, third level, doors, bedroom, and four doors and bedroom. Now I will click OK. And if I go to second level, you will see that the tool selected all doors that open to the room named bedroom. It selected them in the third floor and fourth floor as well. Now I can save my filter in Selection and Save. I will name it and also you can see that I selected multiple families. That means that my doors that open to the room bedroom are different. They do not share nor the same family nor the same type. So now that they are all selected, I can easily change them to be the same. Let's say this one. Now all my doors that open to the bedroom are the same. And now let's say that I change my mind and I want to change those doors again. In this case I do not have to go to filter elements dialog, configure the filter again and select those elements once again. I just have to go to manage tab and in selection select load and load my created filter and the doors are selected again and I can change them. Finally, as promised, I will show you how to download and install this free tool so you can use it right away. All AGE CAD developed Autodesk Revit add-ons and BIM solutions are accessible through Tools for BIM Doc dashboard a new separate interactive window in Revit that works like Project Browser or Properties window. First, you need to go to agecad.com, Products, and find Smart Select under Free Revit Add-ons. Click on Free Download, and now you will be asked to fill in this form. Name, last name, 
company, job title, email, and phone. Now you will need to send it. After that, you are directed to the software download page, where you can choose the product for Revit, 15, 16, or 17, and click Download Tools for BIM Doc. Save it. Now you will be able to run it and install Tools for BIM Doc. When you will open Revit, you will find Tools for BIM Doc under, under Tools for BIM tab. With this functionality, you will be able to easily hide the doc or show it. Now you, you will have to go to the store, find Smart Select, and install it. You will find Smart Select in your favorite tools. You can use it right away. So, as I can see, that would be all. If you will have any other questions, you can write to me and I will answer you by email. I want to say a big thank you again to all of you who stayed till the end. I really hope that you found out something new that you will benefit from. Smart Select is a powerful tool, which is time-saving since it selects elements automatically according to predefined configuration. It prevents errors by automating the selection process and is user-friendly because elements can be selected in just a few clicks. Also, it's completely free, so don't hesitate and try it for yourself right now. That will be all for today, but I'll definitely be looking forward till the next webinar. Have a good day and hopefully we'll meet again.